guys, so today I'm going to be doing my second empties video, which is really exciting because it's sort of like a series now. Like every time I do one, it's like a new one, like an episode. I love empties videos. They're really informative. I watch them constantly. My favorites, if you want to know, are Leanne Says. I'll put a link to her channel down below. I love her empties videos. It's like going through people's trash. Some people think that's weird, but I like it because you get like a little review on everything. So my empties are in this bag and I had a huge dilemma with this video because what happened was I had another bag like this full of empties and my cleaning people threw it out. I guess they thought it was just like a garbage bag, but so they threw it out because um, it was a garbage bag. But anyways, I lost like half of my empties. I'm going to show you guys my garbage. Are you ready? First thing is my Trust Me Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. I believe I had one of these in my first empties video. I've been using this since like middle school, which is like four years ago. So that's like a really long time ago. And I just really like it. I've gone through like 20 of these. They're just amazing. I'm almost done with the one I'm using now, which will probably be in my next empties video. Then I have something that is also a like all time favorite. It's the CVS Cleansing and Makeup Remover Towelettes. The light blue package. They have all different kinds, but this is my favorite. I should have more in here, but I bet you they were in that bag that the cleaning people threw away. I love these. I've tried the Neutrogena ones, which a lot of people do like, and the Olay ones. I don't like those as much as I like these, which is strange because you'd think I'd like the more expensive ones better. That's kind of just normal. I have one. I'm almost done with the one I'm using now. You know, they're just essential. I don't use any other ones. Then I have a Care One Cotton Squares bag. I finished these. Um, I don't know how to review cotton squares. But I will say that right now I'm using the, like, nail exfoliator ones, which are a lot better than just the plain cotton squares. Then I have a CVS brand contact solution, if you wanted to know what I use. So I use this all up, and I don't like CVS brand contact solution because I don't think it cleans my contacts as well as it should but I mean whatever then I have another CVS brand product you can see I go to CVS a lot <laughs> it's the oil free moisturizer for combination skin and I'm not really sure why I bought this I don't like it there's like nothing left it's just a don't buy I didn't like it at all but I have oily skin so Maybe it's just because it's a combination skin moisturizer. Then I have a makeup remover, and this is the Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And ever since I finished this, I've been on the hunt for another one, and I just can't find it anywhere. So this is the makeup remover that doesn't have, like, the, the two separate liquids at the top and the bottom. I don't like that kind because I think it's too oily. As much as it says oil-free, it puts oil all over my face. I've used, i tried a couple of those, and I just don't like them. I really, really like, like, the solid one liquid done. And this is my favorite one. Actually, I really like the Almay one I'm using, but I really wish I could have found this because I like this one a lot. But, yeah, I finished this I have another contact solution. This is the Opti Free Pure Moist. I love this one. I have another one of these baby ones that I travel with. And I'm just tempted to use it instead of my CVS brand because I just like it a lot better. Then I have my all-time favorite moisturizer from Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. This thing is great for oily skin. It says it's for all skin types. Actually, it might be good for dry skin too, but I like it on my skin a lot because it's more like a gel and not a lotion or a cream. But I have actually, you're going to laugh at me, um, the big jars that are like this big. I have five of them. So I'm set to go until college. Like, we're done. Don't ask me why I have five. I just do. Then I have um, an OPI top coat, and it's actually not finished all the way it's just so like gelled up that I can't even like use it at all this was the most horrible top coat I've ever used in my life I would not recommend it you'd think that OPI would make a good top coat because their nail polishes are so good and so popular but their top coat it took forever to dry if it even dried and it got really jelly like and it just does not work well does not work so I'm glad that I'm not using that anymore and then I have um, two-day shadow insurance, 
so glad I'm done with this. I hated this so much. I don't know why I even bought it because I heard it was like Urban Decay Primer Potion and I don't like Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I bought this like a really long time ago and I'm so glad that I'm like done. There's that, you could probably squeeze out a whole bunch more, but to me, this is done. I'm throwing it out because I really didn't like it at all. The reason I didn't like it is because I have really oily eyelids and just like Urban Decay Primer Potion, this stuff just is too oily. Next, oh my gosh, this was like the most depressing empty ever. This is my DKNY Be Delicious perfume. I absolutely love this perfume and there's like a little tiny, tiny bit left, but you can't get it out and it sucks. But I will be repurchasing it because it is actually the best perfume I've ever used. Okay, in the same kind of category, I have Bath & Body Works body sprays. So I actually, I'm cheating here. I didn't use these two up. But I've had this one since first grade, and I've had this one since third grade. I'm not lying to you. You think I'm lying to you, but I'm not. I'm in 11th grade, and I've had them for that long. So finally, I just... Well, look at the packaging. Obviously, they're old, because this packaging has not been Bath & Body Works packaging since 2005. No, I really don't know. <laughs> they were sitting there for so long, I just decided to pour them out, so... Yeah, this one was almost done anyway. There was like this much left. This one was like half done. But yeah, this is the Cotton Blossom and this is the Cherry Blossom. I think they're both discontinued. You can't even get these anymore. But um, didn't like them either. So, And then this one is actually also really old. But I remember, I think I got it in like 6th grade. So not that long ago. Okay, 5 years ago. Um... <laughs> This is the Mango Mandarin Body Splash. I loved this one, and I'm so sad that they don't have it anymore. Next, I have another citrusy scent. This is the Clean and Clear Body Boost Mango and Papaya Morning Burst Body Wash. That is mouthful. And in my first empties video, which you should go watch, um, I featured different scent of this, and I like that one better. There's not much to say about a body wash, but I finished that one. And we're winding down on the empties. Um, I have another Bath & Body Works body spray that is also in the old packaging. Um, you can see it takes me a while to finish these. Uh, this is the Warm Vanilla Sugar, which they still make. So that's a good one. And then I have a makeup remover. Oh, another one. Uh, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off. And this one was one of the makeup removers that has the two separate liquids. And I hated it, but I used it anyway. I just didn't like it at all. So. Then the last couple of things are makeup products. And the first one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. But now I have a full size and I've been using that one. So, yeah. That. And then I have another sample of a Smashbox product. This is the, oh, there's no name on it. But I bet you it's just called like Eyelash Primer. This stuff, I literally killed it. I loved it so much. So much that I took the stopper out and literally, like, it's disgusting. Maybe I'll get a full size because I liked it a lot. And then I have an Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. Just a little mini one. Um, I like the mini ones for traveling. I'm almost done with my big ones. So, yeah. Finish that. Then I have a Maybelline Define Align um, Eyeliner. I hate these things. I don't know what made me buy them. It's like really, really black, but it doesn't stay on your waterline. Like, this stuff sucks. Like, don't get it. And then I have my Maybelline Great Lash. Lots of lashes. And I did not like this mascara at all. The brush is like ridiculous. Like, who's going to spend that much time putting on their mascara? And then the last thing I just threw in here yesterday because I was very upset that I finished it, but then I got another one. It's the um, L'Oreal Liner Intense Carbon Black Felt Tip Liner, whatever, that everyone uses. This is probably like the fifth one I've used. I love these things. They make my making my wings so easy and it stays on all day. I love it. It's awesome. And I just can't say enough good things about it. So that is it for my empties video. It's my second one, and now I can start fresh and start collecting some new stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And go check out my first one. I'll have a link everywhere so you can just go see it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.